and honor we give unto you jesus receive our praise oh lord receive our praise lord receive our praise oh lord jesus receive our praise oh lord glory and honor we give unto you receive our praise oh lord invisible god our miracle worker you are worthy oh lord invisible god our miracle worker you are worthy oh lord you are worthy lord you are worthy oh lord jesus you are worthy oh lord invisible god he is a miracle worker worthy oh lord jesus you are worthy lord you are worthy oh lord receive our praise oh lord you are worthy oh lord invisible god our miracle worker you are worthy oh lord oh shuba shuba re oh shuba re re oh aye raye oh shuba re re oh oh bata ori ta ri she o ware laye wa oh shuba re re oh shuba oh shuba re oh shuba re re oh oh lord wa la gara o o shuba re re o o ba ta ori Tari she o ware o shubare re o o shubare re o alagbara giga o shubare re o o bata ori tari she o ware o shubare re o there is none only our God, as our God, there is no one beside thee. Hallelujah. And neither is there are any rock like our God. There is no one, no one. Only has the Lord, only has you. You, Lord, there is no one only as our God, our God, there is no one, no one beside thee in heaven on the earth, neither is there are any rock like our God, there is no Holy as a Lord, you are the covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. I am the I am Jehovah. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you. Hallelujah. Alpha and Omega, Jehovah, there is no one like you. God of Abraham, covenant keeping God, God of Israel, there is no one like you. Hallelujah. Alpha and Omega, no one like you. There is no one like you. Covenant keeping God, covenant keeping God. There is no one like you, hallelujah, Alpha and Omega, hallelujah, there is no one like you, Aisha, Lawi, Mayem, Oluwa, Aisha, La le wi le she Oluwa e 
Nisha la soro mata se a soro ma ye o covenant keeping God how we ma ye o e ini e ini e isha la we ma ye o Lord we worship you Lord e isha e isha la le we le she Oluwa eini eisha la soro mata se Oluwa a soro ma ye o ah we ma ye o we are saying faithful are you Lord faithful faithful are you Lord we are saying Baba faithful are you Lord you are faithful faithful over her life you are faithful faithful are you Lord over her home faithful faithful are you Lord covenant and keeping God faithful are you Lord you are faithful faithful on this day first day of the month faithful are you lord lord we sing to you faithful are you lord you are faithful lord faithful are you lord in our life faithful over the heavens and the air faithful are you lord god of amen faithful faithful are you lord hallelujah faithful are you lord you are faithful we just want to say baba oh we just want to say baba oh we we just want to say we just want to say baba Oh, for your goodness, for your mercy. Want to say, we want to say, Baba. Oh, we just want to say, we just want to say, Oh Lord, thank you, thank you, Baba. Oh, we just want to say, Baba. Oh, Baba, 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 oh, Eshe, Baba, Eshe, Baba, Awa Dukre, Baba, 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 Lori, Ayewa, Eshe, Baba, Eshe, Eshe, Baba, Awa Dukre, Baba, Ire, Baba, Ire, Homo. He read me, me more. He read, he read, he read, he read, he Ire, oh, amen. Father, we are grateful. We are so grateful as a fellowship, as a ministry, as a family of God. All we have come to say tonight, Father, we have come to say thank you. We are standing in your presence by your grace, by your mercy, 
Father, we thank you for how you have started with us this year. We thank you for your hand that we are seeing already. And we just want to appreciate you. The joy of seeing a new month. Father, please receive our thanksgiving. Receive our praises, Lord. And let your name be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worshipped. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you are alive and you are grateful for the joy of seeing a brand new month, I want us to shout hallelujah in our houses to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. We're going to sing our, our amen song let's take it prayerfully amen is my power amen amen is my power amen is my song with amen i get victory in prayers amen is my sword amen amen is my power Amen is my song. With amen I get victory in prayers. Amen is my song. Amen. Amen is my power. Amen is my song. With amen I get victory in prayers. Amen is my song. Whenever I say amen, in the name above all names, demons tremble and God is glorified. Amen is my stay. Sing amen whenever I say amen. In the name above all names, demons tremble and God is glorified. Amen is my stay. Sing amen. Amen is my power in jesus name amen is my song with amen i get victory in prayers amen is my soul in jesus name amen is my power amen is my song with amen i get victory in prayers amen is is my soul. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can you begin to worship God for tonight? Let's magnify His name. Let's thank Him for His faithfulness. Let's thank Him for His love and kindness. Let's thank Him for His goodness to us. us. Let's thank him because I'll be him on our side. Magnify him, exalt him, give him praise, give him glory, give him adorations. Our God is good. Our God is good. Our God is good to be praised. Let's magnify him. Let's give him praise. Let's give him honor. Let's not be compared to him. He's our faithful father. Bless him, Berem. Let us worship him. Let's magnify his name. Let's give him all the glory. To him be honor tonight. Let's magnify him. Let's adore him. Adoration to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Honor to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Please worship him. Please worship him. Magnify his name. Exalt his name. Let him be glorified. Let him be glorified. Let him be glorified. Let him be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Let him be exalted in the mighty name of Jesus. Let him be honored in the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be his name tonight. Blessed be his name tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us worship him. Please worship his name. Give him praise, give him glory, give him praise, give him glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Worship his name, brethren. Worship him, worship him, worship him. It has been him on our side. Magnify him for his faithfulness. Magnify him for his goodness. Magnify him for his loving kindness. Exalt his name, exalt his name, exalt his name, exalt his name. Please bless him, please bless him, please bless him. Worship him, worship him, worship him. Glory to his name forever. 
in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to his name forever in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. 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 Bless his name. Oh, blessing, blessing, blessing. Blessing tonight. Thank you for your life. Thank you for your family. Thank you for his faithfulness towards you. Thank you for his goodness towards you. Magnify his name. Oh, that we say thank you. You are wonderful to us. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. We rejoice in your glory. We rejoice in your faithfulness. We rejoice in your love. We rejoice in your kindness. It has been you on our side. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah to him alone in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. 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 Please worship him. Magnify him. Hallelujah to you. Please worship him. Magnify his name. Exalt him for his goodness. Exalt him for his kindness. Exalt him for his glory towards us. Blessed be his name. Blessed be his name. Blessed be his name. Let's rejoice in his presence. Rejoice in his love. Rejoice in his love. Rejoice in his love. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We say thank you. Be your name, blessed be your name. Holy Spirit, say thank you. Thank you for your faithfulness towards us, your goodness, your mercy, your kindness. Thank you for all that you have done towards us. Blessed be your name, blessed be your name. You are worthy to be glorified. Hallelujah to you, Father. We magnify you, we adore you. We magnify you, we adore you. We give you praise, we give you glory, we give you praise, we give you glory. Blessed be your name, blessed be your name, blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are worship. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. Amen. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. Worthy, Lord. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Lord. Mosa, you are worthy. To be glorified, you are worthy, Lord. Please worship our God for our families. Thank you for your families. Thank you for your children. Thank you for your loved one. Thank him and magnify his name. Exalt him, exalt him, exalt him. Thank you for his faithfulness in our lives and our families. Thank you for his loveliness in our homes. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. That is say hallelujah to your name, we worship your name. Our uh, amen to you, 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 in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, our uh, amen to you alone. Our uh, amen to you and you alone, Father. Blessed be your name, blessed be your name. Thank you because each time we pray you had us. Thank you for our children, for our families, for our loved ones. Thank you for our very life. Thank you for answering our prayers. We say, blessed be your name. Please worship him. Thank you for your very life. Thank you for being in this place tonight. For he has woken you up and called you to prayers. Thank him and worship his name. Thank him and worship his name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say, Father, we have your way in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us to pray your will. To pray your mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Let your love be abundance tonight upon us. Let your grace be abundance upon us tonight. Let your love be abundance upon us tonight. Let your grace multiply mightily upon, upon us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the benefit of prayers, the benefit of amen be ours tonight in Jesus' mighty name. Let our life be better this night in the mighty name of Jesus. Let our life be better this night in the mighty name of Jesus. Let our life be better this night in the mighty name of Jesus. Do us good in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, do us good tonight. Do us good tonight. As individual, as family, do us good tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. 
let your love be abundant towards us and let your mercy be abundant towards us let your glory be abundant towards us in the mighty name of jesus let your glory be abundant towards us let your blood be abundantly be a blessed to us nice wash us by your blood in the mighty name of jesus individual of us all of us wash up by your blood tonight in the mighty name of jesus may your love be mighty upon us tonight in jesus mighty name do what only you can do in our life do what only you will do in our homes in the mighty name of jesus do what only you can do in our life in jesus mighty name thank you holy spirit in jesus mighty name we are praying let us pray one or two prayer for our children before we go to the prayer for tonight as the lord help us it will be in the news and the covers the news of late we see there are many killings in town actually in nigeria here we pray about it before but we see pray once again tonight and i trust the lord will hear us in jesus mighty name Amen. first and foremost let's thank god for answering our prayers in, on our children in the past we have prayed for them in the past and have half answered i know this one will not be different Thus, thank God because in the past we have prayed concerning our nations. We have prayed concerning burning issues. We have prayed concerning our children. We have prayed concerning many things, and the Lord had us. We know this time around, if you hear us, so let us worship Him, just magnify Him. Tell Him that thank you because in the past we have prayed for our children, and you had us. Thank you because this time again you will hear us again. We know you have had us. You will not only hear us, you will give us answers. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for our children. We say, blessed be your name. Thank you for our adult children and our young children. Thank you for our grandchildren. Thank you for blessing us with new babies, for blessing us with new lives, for blessing us with uh, life and grace. Thank you for all our children in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. When I say children now, it also means even adult children, including myself. I'm actually if you're parents or adult children are also involved. I want to pray, number one, that God will have mercy upon us in this land. That God will have mercy upon us in this land. There are too many children of blood every day. Something's wrong with this land. Something is truly wrong. Say, Father, please have mercy upon us. The Bible says, my people who are coming in, we humble themselves and pray. If they can seek his face, Confess their sin. Say, Father, come to your word, please heal our land. Forgive our sins and heal our land. Forgive our sin and heal our land. The Bible says, Bless the Lord, my soul. Who oh, forgive your sin and heal your diseases. Lord, please forgive our sins in this land called Nigeria and heal our land in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, if you're not in Nigeria, pray for Nigeria now, I beg of you. Pray for Nigeria and God will have mercy upon this land and heal us of all our sicknesses in the mighty name of Jesus. Our national sicknesses, epidemic sicknesses, psychological sicknesses, and sicknesses affecting the lands. Our psychic, that God will forgive us all and heal us in the mighty name of Jesus. That please forgive us as a father and heal us in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, please forgive us. Forgive us all our sins. Our wickedness is going high every day. That is killing every new day. Father, please forgive us. Father, please have mercy upon us. Forgive us in the mighty name of Jesus. Forgive us and heal this land. Heal this land. Forgive us and heal this land in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. So, now we can be almost sure somebody is being killed somewhere now. And there are many, many violent blood going to the ground almost every day. And this blood has a way of crying back and seeking for vengeance. I pray for please. In the place of every blood that is shed, please the blood of Jesus Christ speak on our behalf. In vengeance, let there be peace in this land. And let there be a stop to it in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a stop to it in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus Christ speak better things. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak upon this land in the mighty name of Jesus. Please pray for Nigeria now. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for this country in the mighty name of Jesus. Speak for the land, the land, the land called Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus Christ speak for this land in the mighty name of Jesus. 
let the blood of Jesus speak for this land in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Why have been this matter just this week? I had in my prayer, the Lord said, we can only pray to use it. We can only pray to try to reduce the speed. But we don't likely stop until those in power that are cutting it are gone. Until we pray that God will make a change in our government. The government is demonic. The government has been ruled by human demons. And these are the manifest. When the unrighteous rule the land, you see all these kind of terrible things happening in the land. Imagine children as small as 13 killing another, as small as 15, 17, killing another just to make money. And you wonder when the money will come, what will they use the money for? Confusion and terrible event in the land. But it won't stop them. We can only reduce the speed. We can only reduce the movements. Until God visit our government, there will not be a change. That was a lot told me on Sunday when I was praying on this matter. I mean, in my heart upon it. I heard it clearly that I don't expect any drastic reduction. Don't expect any drastic change. Until there's a change in the government of Nigeria. Because the government itself is possessed with demons, rules by demons. And therefore, the, 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 the multiplying effect is multiplying on the children in the land. Once the fire please intervene in the, in the government of this land and let there be a change in the mighty name of Jesus. They throne every demons, they throne every power in, that is taking the Nigeria and Nigeria government at ransom in the mighty name of Jesus. We address every demons, we address every power of darkness taking at ransom and putting us into subjection to power of darkness and shedding blood, using the children of the land to shed blood, and not in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare the kingdom called Nigeria, we declare the geographer called Nigeria, the kingdom of God and of his Christ. And every the rulers, we say Jesus is the ruler of this land, God the Father, the Father of Jesus Christ is the ruler of this land. Any other one ruling in place of government and causing destruction and blood, blood killings, Lord, is it enough in the mighty name of Jesus? Let there be a visible change in government in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a visible change in the place of government in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit the throne of Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit the throne of Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit the throne of Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. God is not respected of any man. As long as a man is drinking water and eating food, it's a human being. As long as a man will be tired and say, I want to go and sleep, it's a human being. As long as a man will be tired and want to say, I want to rest, I'm, I'm having a form of sickness, it's a human being. He may be possessed with demons and ruling like God, but the fact of the that is a human being. And that's why Jesus Christ was never in the place that we can say oh, he's, he's sick. Therefore, I need to go and rest and, and because it's too tired. Because it's not just human. And therefore, every human being that is eating food and drinking water is this subject to God. I want to pray for that in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit all our politicians from the low to the highest. Ah, yes. As men that so in Nigeria to demons and covenant with darkness, Lord, remove them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, remove them in the mighty name of Jesus. One by one, remove them in the mighty name of Jesus. All the kings, all the emirs, all the obese, all the rulers, all the traditional rulers of the country, all the powerful ones that are ruled in Nigeria directly or indirectly. And so in Nigeria, in more and more into darkness. Lord, visit them in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit them in your anger. Visit them in your jealousy in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit them in your anger and your jealousy in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit them in your anger and your jealousy in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit them enough of this blood in the mighty name of Jesus. Enough of this blood in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Long, well, long was the time you travel and you lodge in an hotel and you sleep your two eyes closed. It's no longer in Nigeria now. If you are sleeping in an hotel in Nigeria now, please don't sleep your two eyes closed. And that had to stop. 
God must intervene from the place of God to the people that have been ruled. God must intervene. Some somewhere are sowing this land to darkness every day, causing this bloodshed. And enough is enough in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever they are, we throw them in the mighty name of Jesus. And I say we throw them in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever they are, we dethrone them in the mighty name of Jesus. We destroy the power of darkness from governments to parties to, to traditional rulers to schools to authority. We say enough is enough in the mighty name of Jesus. We destroy everyone that's supporting this darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Please not just pray for this voice and this guy that is doing this thing and pray that they stop it. Pray that those behind them should stop and God will replace them. Unless those are stopped, you're only being, dealing with the fruit. The, you see the tree, you know the tree by the fruit it, it produces. Now, these are the fruits we are seeing. But the tree producing the fruit is somewhere, someplace, in government houses, in traditional houses, even in some churches. The tree producing the truth, fruit are there. In some religious houses, doesn't matter the name they call themselves. The tree we are seeing, the fruit we are seeing are there. We are always seeing the fruit, the results. But those having the meeting, the committee of elders, demonic elders, causing the trouble, they are somewhere, somewhere. Spreading this evil spirit all over the land. But to the mighty name of Jesus, at his name, we say enough to their meetings in the mighty name of Jesus. Ever guy again, they gather to their shame in Jesus' mighty name. I'm going to pray for your own children. That between now and when we see the visible change that we are praying for, that my children will not be victim of this activity in the mighty name of Jesus. My children will not partake in it. It's not my children will not witness this. Except I will not partake in it. I will not witness it in the mighty name of Jesus. My family member and no one of us will partake in this thing. And we shall not witness it in the mighty name of Jesus. The covenant of life and of peace is on me in Jesus' mighty name. The covenant of life and of peace is on me in the mighty name of Jesus. The covenant of life and peace is on my family in the mighty name of Jesus. It's on my wife, it's on the children, it's on every member of praying prayer, praying prayer, prayer group. The covenant of life and of peace on us in the mighty name of Jesus. All over the world, wherever we are, the covenant of life and of peace is on us in the mighty name of Jesus. No one of us will run into evil. No one of us will run into evil. No one of us will run into evil in the mighty name of Jesus. No one of us will run into calamity and into evil in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Don't say my children cannot do it. Oh, I know my son cannot do it. Oh, I know my girl cannot do it. The first going to land, mesmerizing the heart of children. Children of disobedience, making their mind to be reprobate. They obviously because they refuse to recognize God as God. He gave them to reprobate mind. And that's exactly what's happening in Nigeria. Because our government and those in government, our politicians, our traditional leaders, even some religious rulers, they refuse to recognize God as God. We practice, we practice religion without God in Nigeria. Because that is the place God gave us the youth that's supposed to take over the land, reprobate mind. My children will be different than mighty name of Jesus. I will pray for them. That's why we are here tonight. That our children will be different. Say the mighty name of Jesus. My children shall never be victim of this evil. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will not take part in it. And they will not be victim of it. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will not take part in it. And they will not be victim of it. In the mighty name of Jesus, they will not take part of this killing. And they will not be part of it in the mighty name of Jesus. Not in me, no one of mine shall be a victim of this in the mighty name of Jesus. My guest will not be a victim. My boys will not be a victim. No one in my household will be a victim. Not to me myself in the mighty name of Jesus. No one of mine of mine will be a victim of this in Jesus' mighty name. None of mine shall be a victim of this in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. We are praying on this in God has had us. We pray when there were only plants of women and they stopped. We pray when there was too much kidnapping. I mean, we hear less of that these days. This is what we are praying. 
God will hear us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It will reduce significantly. And the only way to reduce significantly, as the Lord told me, is that there must be a thorough change in the Nigerian government. Whatever it will take God to make it into this thing, God will do it in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever we take him as God to place a change in this land, and remember that demons are making children to run after money in Nigeria, God will do it in our land in the mighty name of Jesus. We rebuke that demon in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, my children will be possessed by that demon. In the mighty name of Jesus, my children will be possessed by that demon. In the mighty name of Jesus, none of my house will be possessed by that demon in Jesus' mighty name. Mighty name. My spouse will not be possessed by that demon in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not be possessed by that demon in the mighty name of Jesus. The demon that may be to love money more than they love God is not us in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, enough of every man in Nigeria. Touch the heart of men, touch the heart of women, touch the heart of the youngs, in the mighty name of Jesus. Enough of reproved minds for people to be doing things that ordinarily they don't do, in the mighty name of Jesus. Please help us stop that in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are pray. Pray, pray for the heart of your children. That God will insulate, we cover the heart of your children, the of Jesus Christ. They shall not be victim of this things. The children of disobedience are going to it every new day. But our children shall not be killed in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. How can a 16 year, 17 year old person be killing another of his friend just to make money? What is kind of that kind of money was for? But sometimes when they are caught, they are just being. If, if, if they are just reducing the effect of the demonic force there that is under, that is putting them under. I want to pray for our children that please, the heart of my children, please call them by their name. The heart of my children is in your hand. They will not, be, they will not develop a ripple mind in the mighty name of Jesus. My children, mission by their name, if you can, will not develop a ripple mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, even the married one, my adult children. Myself, yourself inclusive, we shall not develop a ripple mind that we have interest in doing all this in the mighty name of Jesus. I refuse to be a victim of these demons in the mighty name of Jesus. Wife killing husband, husband killing wife, and the uh, the parents killing their own sons, and six children killing their own parents. My family shall not be victim of this in the mighty name of Jesus. My home shall not be victim of this in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I said no to this in Jesus' mighty name. The demon of, of, of that, uh, this demon is causing confusions. We now have a place between my children. We now have a place between me and my spouse in the mighty name of Jesus. The demon will now have a place in my family in the mighty name of Jesus. I say no to it in Jesus' mighty name. I say no to this in the mighty name of Jesus. I said my children shall not be part of this in the name. The heart of my children is in your hand. Confident to your goodness, your way, to your purpose, in the mighty name of Jesus. They have my family in your hand. Let it be to your glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Please, Lord, they have all my children in your hand. Control them. Help them in the mighty name of Jesus. They have of kings and the hand of God. Like a floor, whatever you control, whether you will, whatever you will. Lord, they have my children in your hand. Control to your glory. Control the heart of your honor in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Please continually pray for your children. Don't say, my son cannot do it. I beg of you, please. Don't say, my daughter cannot do it. Just pray for them. That's what we need now. Pray for your children. Pray for your children. Please, I beg of you, continually pray for your children and pray for yourself. No one of us be a victim of this demon in the mighty name of Jesus. Everyone in power that is making this be happening in our land, God will put an end to their reign in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say everyone in power, known and unknown, visible and invisible, wherever they are, that is causing this people in mind to be flowing over the land and end has come to their powers in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. Please pray for your children. I was in the news of late. Philip boys, 15, about 13, 14, 15, left their place, ran away from their mothers and their fathers to another city. And they say we want to learn how to do all these dirty things they are doing, killing people. Our children are not part of them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. That's 
useless mind, that demonic power. We don't have a place in the life of our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Please pray for our children and continually warn them and talk to them that the devil may not have a place in their life in Jesus' mighty name. God will glorify in our children Amen. and will glorify in our lives Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Also pray for our young one, the small one among us now, that the development will be, will be, will be, 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 be thorough. Of later issues on children, people call me here and there and say my child is having this particular sickness. If it's just malaria and uh, soma pain, it's okay. But maybe we to diagnose this, diagnose that. No, we don't want that in our means. Somebody say, can you just call that person? I know we have been in that group. Call him on this matter. And it's about a child having a particular thing. Then say, not be a member of the, our, our group, but just that they put our contact and they are calling us. Enough to all this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. These children are innocent. They are innocent. And all these manifestations are all the evil one. And we must stop them now in Jesus' mighty name. Some are having problems with speech. Some are having problems with their hearing. Some are having problems with their heart. Some problem with their head, some problem with their brain, all kind of things like that. Say in the mighty name of Jesus. This is all our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God of Jesus Christ, make a repair now in the mighty name of Jesus. Make a repair in every area where there are this, 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 where there are issues in the mighty name of Jesus. Those having speech pain, make a repair in their tongues. Those having hearing, pain, make a repair in their hearing. Those having heart problem, make a repair in their heart. Those having all kind of problems they may be having, make a repair now in the mighty name of Jesus. Those having issues with their head, make a repair now in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever the case may be, in the blood or in the in the water system, let there be repairing now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be repairing now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be repairing now in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be repairing now in the mighty name of Jesus. I don't know having issue with their speech. I declare there be repairing now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. He said, give a cure and give us head. Sometimes God just give us head, it will make a total change. Sometimes God will just heal a person by repairing what is wrong. He changes it. Man born blind, particularly not having eyes. But when Jesus got there, he not only opened his eyes, he put a new socket there. And man seen and see clearly. This man, the man went to Jordan. By the time he came out, the Bible says his skin was as, as though it was a newborn. I want to pray the mighty name of Jesus. Every for our children, please visit them. In the mighty name of Jesus, replace every 40 vessels. Replace every 40 organs. Replace every 40 system. In the mighty name of Jesus. No and unknown, replace them in the mighty name of Jesus. No and unknown, replace them in the mighty name of Jesus. No and unknown, replace them in the mighty name of Jesus. No Everything that is sort of God, in every structural deficiency, every structural difficulty in the life and the body of our children, let there be a replacement we are needed in the mighty name of Jesus. A repair or a replacement now in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Just this morning, I said a something across all of us. I, told, I think all of us saw it. It was, a, it was something that came by expression while I'm meditating and praying. Sometimes when you are praying, you, be, you get afraid. That was the case I was called to. When I heard it, I was practically afraid. I must tell you the truth. There are things I hear, even me, I get afraid. I, must, I can't deceive you. But in my fear, I don't doubt the ability of God to work. Yes, I don't doubt the ability of God. Faith is the ability to trust God, even in the midst of fear. That's what we call faith. You can say trusting, even when you have every reason, doubting. And in that place, I said that the world demons, devils, genies, genies are lesser devils that the, the, the those are other brothers believe, believe in. Whatever they are called, diseases and, and uh, sicknesses. What they hate is that they have names. As long as they have names, they are studied to Jesus Christ. Because in his name, every name should bow, every touch should confess, because I have been given a name above all names. Therefore, in his name, we can address them. That is the victory we have. They may sometimes mesmerize and behave as if they are powerful. Sometimes we do things as if God want to confuse us. 
it doesn't matter what we are seeing or what we have not even seen. It doesn't matter what the name we are, the name we are, what the story we are hearing or we are not heard. What we know that is very true is that they all have names. We know you know their name, but the truth of the matter, they all have names. And as they have names, known to us or not, they are subject to Jesus Christ. And that's why I say all this thing you're talking about, it doesn't matter the sickness, the pain, the speech problem, the hearing problem, the sin problem, the breathing problem, the, the mental problem. It doesn't matter what it is. As long as you keep rebooking them in Jesus' name, they will listen. Because it's been given a name above all names, and they are all names. I would say you have names like above all principalities and power, kingdom, dominion, because in him all things consist. They have names. And as long as they have names, either they are caused by demons, by devils, by genies, which they are all, they are all the same, or they are all the same. Either they are caused, also name they are called, or what it causes them. The fact is that once they have names, they will be addressed and they will listen. And what about demons that when they are addressed in Jesus' name, they do listen. They do listen. Only if you can address the Jesus' name. And many of the things we are seeing, we are hearing, are not ordinary. Not just coincidence. And I will say the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever the name those ones are called, whatever name the diseases are called, whatever the name the are called, every troubling our children, and troubling our hearts, we address them all in the mighty name of Jesus. Address them all in the mighty name of Jesus. Caused by demons, caused by devils, caused by human sickness, caused by sin, caused by covenant. We don't even know what we know. Whatever they cost them, what they cost them, we don't care. Now. We know they are subject to Jesus Christ. Therefore, in Jesus' mighty name, we address them all. We say, hold now and say, no, lose your grip. In Jesus' mighty name, <coughs> lose your grip in the mighty name of Jesus. Lose your grip now in the mighty name of Jesus. Lose your grip over my in Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Please, if you don't go with anything to and go with this, that you should continue to tell that demon to lose his or her grip over your children. There we go. Sometimes they accuse us by telling us what we have done in the past that are bad. Oh, you have done this. Oh, you have done that. You are the most useless man on that. You are the most useless man on that. You have done that just to make your heart feel of guilt. And therefore, you can't address them. But the Bible says there is no guilt again. It said, as Christ Christ Jesus, they are no longer have the power of guilt. He has taken care of that by dying on Calvary. We magnify the pain, magnify the issue, make it so big, go to the door, one big name to make you to be afraid. All is so useless and jettisoning the name of Jesus Christ. That's all you devil wants. If you do everything demonic possible to make sure you don't longer no attach value to that name. Or so I'm married now and be the woman is not there, or the man is not there, or oh, this sickness has been is there forever, and it's as if it never go. Oh, I'm, I'm beginning to lose hope now. Oh, this condition, I've been trusting God for a long time. It's seen nothing is changing. All oh, the devil wants is that it should be discouraged, full of guilt, and believe the name of Jesus cannot do it. All people don't even think the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that is named is subject to him. Only what is not named. And there's nothing that is not named. Nothing. Even the nameless is a name. Maybe there's a name, the demon that have no name. I say my name is nameless. Even that nameless is a name on its own. So don't allow anything to stop you from addressing that demon every time. Even when it's occupying you with guilt, you don't this, you don't that. Keep opening your mouth, say, I rebook you, Jesus. They will listen. On this child, disobedient, misbehaving, stubborn, I rebook you in Jesus' name. Keep saying it until you see the results you want. So you need to give the mighty name of Jesus name on every child that is sick, on every child that is manifesting one particular issue or the other, giving the mother or giving the father attic. We say enough, enough in the mighty name of Jesus. We address every of those situations in the name of Jesus. We address every of those situations in the name of Jesus. As long as they all have name, we're able to demonstrate in the mighty name of Jesus. 
as long that they have name, we rebuild the sickness, we rebuild the diseases, we rebuild the delay, we rebuild the demons in charge in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Say a bigger amen. amen. Say a good amen. amen. There's power in the name of Jesus. And that's why we're not allowed to realize there's power in the name of Jesus Christ. And in his name, we can address all stations because they all respect and bow to him. They cannot refuse his name. Nothing refuse the name of Jesus Christ. But I say it, and I see there's no change, does not mean they are refusing him. Sometimes they don't manifest what you, your prayer, they don't manifest immediately. But the fact of the matter when you pray and you pray in Jesus' name, they cannot refuse it. That husband pray in Jesus' name, he can't refuse it. That lady, your wife, pray in Jesus' name, he can't refuse it. That child, that situation, any whatever it is, pray in Jesus' name. It may look as if it's manifest now, but the fact means that as long as he is looking at the situation in Jesus' name, they can't refuse it. Nothing refuses his name. And that's all they all hate most. It, I God told me that this morning that what this demon hates most is that I make sure they all have names. That's what they hated most. They hate the fact that God made sure they all have names. And as long as they have names, they are all subject to Jesus Christ. And therefore, you can rebuke them in his name. That's why this meeting in, the, in this couple of days, by this Sunday, to give a big event, be better and made better by amen. May God make it a beautiful time for us in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. When we realize this fact, we will feel better. We will rejoice better. We will hope better. We have faith better. Or the fact that God rebuilt demons on our behalf. They can't rebuild Jesus' name. And that has nothing to do with what you are doing or what you are not doing. The name of Jesus Christ is not working because you are, you are doing what is right or you are wrong. It's work because it's his name of Jesus Christ. It has nothing to do with us. It has nothing to do with us. We are all doing our own part to be right in God's sight. So that we can come before him, we are bold enough to approach him. Say, enter to his throne with goodness. That's what we are all doing. When we, are, when we do what is right, we are doing what for our own side. But the fact of the matter is, what we, do, what, what, what we are now has nothing to do with the vocability of Jesus' name. What we are now, and what we will ever be, has nothing to do with the vocability of Jesus' name. All we need is that just rebook the situation in his name and believe it. It will be addressed. It can help me your own life. Oh, I can't stop this thing. I want to stop. I cannot stop it. I don't want this kind of a life again, but it's just not going. Rebook in Jesus' name and put your hope there. And that's why I know that as long as we have Jesus' name, this land still have hope. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I commit my family into your hand. I commit my home into your hand. As long as every situation has name, I know I have hope in the mighty name of Jesus. As long as every case has name, I know I have hope in the mighty name of Jesus. Because those names are subject to Jesus Christ. And I keep addressing them in Jesus' name, in the mighty name of Jesus. I will keep speaking to them in Jesus' name because I know as long as they have name, there is hope in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever have name is straight to Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Seen and unseen, demons or angel, whatever has name is subject to Jesus Christ. Therefore, I know I have hope. I know there is 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 hope. I will not lose faith. As long as they have name, I know there is hope. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will keep addressing them. The Bible says, submit yourself to God. Rebook the devil. I will keep rebook them in Jesus' mighty name. Anything I don't want, anything I don't want to see, I will keep addressing them in Jesus' name. I know they have name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I will not stop. I will not close my mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus, until I see the result I want, I will not close my mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. I will not close my mouth in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Oh, they say the, the coming big event say feel better. To feel better is 
let's see. Let me just read. Uh, about chapter, we are almost going about the prayer we are praying. Let's see Matthew chapter two verse ten. Matthew chapter two verse ten. Matthew two verse ten. Matthew two verse ten. He said, "When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy." When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And it was that joy. There was a feeling of bitterness. There was a feeling, though they have not seen the child, they have not got to where the child is. They have not met this child one on one. But the father, they saw the star. So bright and little then the Bible say they we are rejoicing, not just rejoicing, exceeding great joy. They knew with this star we get where the child was. They knew it, and they are filled with exceeding great joy. When you are rejoicing, you will feel better. You can't be rejoicing and feel worse. It's not possible. You can't be filled with joy. Not just ordinary joy, great joy. Not just a great joy, exceedingly great joy. You can't have that in your heart and still not feel better. And when they saw the child, because they are already filled of joy, they are already filled with great joy, exceedingly great joy. They are already rejoicing, they worship him, and they presented the best they have. They rejoice, they felt better. So when you when when you the, the remembrance that the father something good will happen make you feel better. Like I pray now, and I've, been, I've told you that in the name of Jesus Christ, every demon submits because that demon has a name. Even in that man, there are so many, about 12,000 or so. And they say, What is your name? They say, We are Legion. How many we are called? That the father, they even name that they, they, they are so many, they call themselves Legion. They all have their name, we do that name. But collectively, he said, we are legion. Jesus addressed that legion, and the head of the legion left immediately. Smile the shepherd. And the sheep scattered. Immediately, they said, get out of you. Jesus only addressed one of them, which is the head. The original now, the original now, the space. The first that came. And immediately was addressed. Everyone that came with him also left with him. And the man will feel better. They hope that something good will happen. They feel better. The joy that something nice, something beautiful is about to happen, make you feel better. It has not happened, but you know it will happen. The high possibility that there's no mistaking about it, that something beautiful is about to happen, make you rejoice. You have not seen it, but you just believe the possibility is very high. And when something, when something now beautiful and wonderful take place, you can see it, you rejoice more. And when they saw the star, the Bible said they rejoice. Some were in the, were in, some were in the field. They saw an angel coming and said, Good will to nation, peace on earth. A son has been given. The Bible said, Enjoy. They all went to the place. It was a peace to the heart. There was peace right from that spot. Peace to the heart. But immediately they got out of that place with that peace in, the, in Jerusalem. There was just my soul as it was. But the joy that the peace will come, they rejoice. Or uh, you will say, and the saw star, they saw angel, so they should rejoice. Oh, when I hear prophecy and God say that particular thing I've taken away, I will rejoice. Oh, when I hear a declaration, a wisdom, what of wisdom, what of knowledge that come for I say, I've addressed that case, oh, I will rejoice. Or when I go give me a dream or a vision and say that case I'll be addressed, I will rejoice. Jesus Christ, so you say so because they saw star, they saw angel, they ought to rejoice, they've seen it all. But Jesus Christ said, when Thomas was seeing the, the disciples, and Thomas said, I will not believe unless I see him, unless I see the star, unless I see the sign. Oh, I pray that this child's speech be open. Unless I begin to hear the word that things coming forth, I will not believe. I pray the child that this child should be healed, that the heart is having a problem, or the leg, or the hand, or the brain should be healed. Or I see sign of a recuperation, I will not believe. Please don't do that. Don't wait for the star. Don't wait for the angel before you rejoice. Because when you say amen to prayer, you should feel better. 
You should rejoice. Don't just feel better you are comforting yourself. You should truly rejoice and have a city joy in you that you have had. Because what you are praying for has a name. And as long as he has a name, it's subject to Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ said, when Jesus Christ appeared to Thomas, and Thomas said, my Lord and my God, and he bow, he worship. And Jesus Christ said, you only believe because you saw me. You only believe because you saw the star. You only believe because uh, you heard it, that, that my child, my son prayed. And he said, so and so case, the Lord said this. Oh, God has told us that in the, world, in the past, what a wisdom of revelation. What we say, so so person, this has this happened. We address it in, in Jesus' name. And we believe it. That can happen. I remember last December, somebody, God, the Lord said, somebody like your mother is sick another the year. You don't celebrate New Year without sickness. And Lord said, this last one will be different. Because that was mentioned now, if you are the one, you may rejoice because you have seen the star. You have seen the angel. You will rejoice. But Jesus now says, Blessed are those, that's blessedness in faith. Blessed are those who, when they do not see, yet they, they believe. Oh, you didn't see the star. Who will not rejoice when you see the star so bright? You didn't see the star. No angel appeared to you in your dream or in the feet, like the, those three men that angel appeared to, or those shepherds. No angel appeared to you. No prophecy, no word of wisdom, or word of knowledge, no revelation. But yes, you believe. Because everything has a name. And as long as they have a name, you can address them in Jesus' name. And as long as you address in Jesus' name, they submit. And as long as they submit, they will leave their resident or place now that Jesus may be all in all in all things. You believe you have faith. And because you have faith, you rejoice with exceeding grace, joy. That is feeling better when you pray and you say amen. That's feeling better when you pray when you say amen. You feel better by his words and by his word and by his conviction that comes to your mind. And you made better when you see the word manifesting in your life. For nine sports, our life is different than mighty name of Jesus. We not only be waiting for progress. That's why many people get lost. They go from house to house, from pillar to pole, looking for prophecy and say, What did the Lord say, please? And this is happening. What do I do now? Look, no, don't wait for that. Address everything in Jesus' name. That's the biggest gift God gave to us. And doesn't matter the level of spirituality we are, that we are baby or adults in the Lord. What matters is I address everything in Jesus' name. Believe and rejoice in Him. It's a city joy that you have been had. And that's what we're discussing more and more of this in the, in the course of the big events. I trust the Lord, Lord will bless us in the mighty name of Jesus. Say in the mighty name of Jesus, I believe in Jesus' mighty name. I believe in his ability to, to save, ability to deliver. I believe in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. I may not see the sign. I may not see the stars. I may not see the angels coming to tell me the, the, the news. But I believe in the name of Jesus Christ, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I pray for the pregnant, for, I pray for babies, for everyone that menstruating. It doesn't matter. I believe in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, I believe in healing. It doesn't matter the spirit has gone or not. I believe. I believe it doesn't matter the test result I'm seeing. I believe in the mighty name of Jesus. It doesn't matter what the land is saying, there's hunger or not. I believe. It doesn't matter what is going on, what I can hear, what I can see, what I can feel. I believe. It doesn't matter if the boy is speaking now, or the girl is speaking now, or the boy is running around because it's me who now, or the girl is healed now. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm having a home now as a young man or woman. It doesn't matter. All matters that they are subject to Jesus' name. They all have names in the mighty name of Jesus. From today, I choose to feel better. Because I know every case has a name in the mighty name of Jesus. From today, I should feel better because I know every case has a name in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. I feel better because I know they have name. And I know as they have name, they are also to Jesus' name. Yes, they are also to Him as long as they have name. Even our government, they have name. Our president have name. 
our governors have names, our ministers have names, our obas, they are called obas, they are called EMI, they are called OB, they are whatever name they are called, they all have names. Darkness half name, light half name, angels half name. They haven't called angel because that's the name. If you have the individual name, they all have name. Demons have name, genies have name. Every genie has a name. But as long as they are called demons, they all collectively submit to Jesus' name. That's the greatest gift we have as believers. Don't lose it, please. And don't stop using it until you see the results you desire. Don't stop praying, don't stop addressing cases. In Jesus' name, until you see the result you desire, never stop. Never stop. Never stop talking to them. Never stop praying. Never stop talking to them until you see the result you desire. You will see the result in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I say, you will see the result in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Can you go to worship man? Bless his name. Thank you because I know everything is subject to his name. I know my life. I know my situations. I know the sickness and the pain. I know my girl, my boy. I know whatever it is that is in my family. I know all these things are subject to Jesus' name. I know that for sure. Therefore, I bless your name, Father. I bless your name. I bless your name. I bless your name. I, bless your name. I, I know my work is subject to his name. Everything is his name. My protections, my going forth, my coming in saved, the protection of my children. The salvation of my children. Oh, I know they are subject to his name. How I will feed my home, how I will have money, how things will change for me, how I will be spiritual, how I will serve God effectively, how I will love God effectively. They are all subject to his name. Therefore, I have hope. Let us say, Blessed be your name. I bless your name, Father. I bless your name. I bless your name. I bless your name. I bless your name. This is the assurance I have. That as long as you have name, they are all subject to Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your love and for your grace. Thank you for your glory. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, please worship him. 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 Please magnify his name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Please don't forget this understanding I beg of you. It's highly revelation. I, I got to know it myself today. And that's what demons don't want us to get. That's where sickness don't want us to know. They make us depressed. They make us do all kind of things. They they even make us to do things I ordinarily won't do. Just to feel guilt in our mind and to accuse us before our God. But the fact of the matter is they all have name. Whether it's guilt, address that guilt in Jesus' name. This brother just got to wipe it out. Wipe it out and address those demons in Jesus' name. And as long as we address them, they stand addressed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Everything has names. God ensure everything has names. So that all things are the subject to Jesus Christ. Please don't forget that. And as long as a case has names, don't stop addressing that case in Jesus' name. Personal cases or whatever it may be. Don't stop addressing. No man alive is beyond the authority of Jesus' name because the man has a name. And no man likewise alive beyond the power of his name. And no demons and no angels that cannot be addressed in Jesus' name. No situation, no matter how bad, that cannot be addressed in Jesus' name. Keep addressing them. They will listen. Keep addressing the listen. And much, much more, please pray for your children. Pray for your guests. Pray for your boys. Until God put a net this killing, keep praying for your own and address your children, their heart, their mind, their life, their protections, even yourself with the blood of Jesus Christ and ask everything about you and in you to submit to his name. They will obey. We receive not. Because we ask not. And even when we ask, we ask doubting. And I would say, even the doubter is like a wave of the sea. Whatever he asks, he cannot receive because it's not stable. But for today, we no longer doubt him in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They must suggest doubt to us so that we might forget the fact that they have names. Sickness, 
the report we have from doctors, the report we have from, from our workplace, and the report of the economy we are having, our bank accounts, everything is pointing to one direction, one direction to so doubt, to make us forget the fact that they all have names. And that is what they all hate most, that they have names. But for today, we are realized that now, and we address them only in Jesus' name. We don't even care to know their name. We don't care, we don't have to know their name. Just say that as long as I know you have a name, whether I know it or not, I address you in Jesus' name. That's the truth. And we see results in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. After seeing results, you will feel better. You will feel it in your spirit that I'm feeling better. You will rejoice in him. And your joy shall be permanent Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You may not see the star. You may not see the angels. You may not see the wind blowing. Things may remain the same around you. But by faith, say, blessed are those. There's a blessing attached to that faith. Blessed are those. Blessed are those that believe, even when they have not seen. There's always a, a promise of God that's attached to a blessing. In the Old Testament, say, obey your parents. That your days may be long. That was a blessing attached. That's the only one. But in the New Testament, the only blessing attached, the only promise attached with blessing is faith. And that's why I said, without faith, you can't please God. Don't wait till you see. Don't wait till you see the sign that things are getting better. Just have faith. That's a blessing attached to it. It's a blessing to those that believe, even when they are not seen. Why do they believe? Because they know that everything has name. And as long as they have name, they are subject to Jesus Christ. May God bless your understanding with this. Amen. I say may God bless your understanding with this. Amen. And bless your home. Amen. Bless your children. Amen. Make everything about you and everything in you subject to Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I bless this land called Nigeria in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Every distance, every power, every force of darkness arousing and instigating and helping this killing going on on the land. We address you all in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We don't care the name you have. We all know that you have a name. But we care for only one name, Jesus' name. Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the Son of God. And his name, we address you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray for all our children, no matter the problem we may be seeing, or we have seen, or we are hearing, I address each of those situations in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Either in the brain, or in the heart, or in the leg, or in the stomach, whatever the place may be. And likewise, in the ear and the life of everyone listening now, I address every situation in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because I know they all have names. And as long as they have names, there's a name above them all, at which they must bow at which they must confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Therefore, I address them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. They stand address, and they shall obey in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, this will rejoice in us. May not have seen the star. May not have seen the, the angels. May not have seen things that are physical yet. May not have seen things that things are changing yet. But we believe that as long as they have name, they are subject to Jesus' name. That's why we say amen to that. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And together, what would you say? Amen. 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 And amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God will honor you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you do what only you can do in your life, amen. visit your home. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Please, I beg of you, keep addressing every station in Jesus' name. Amen. Don't allow the devil to sow doubt in your mind, to sow guilt in your mind, to sow confusion in your mind. All is for one purpose, to forget the fact that they have names. Please don't allow that to happen. Address that child, that boy, that girl. Address that station in Jesus' name. Keep saying it until you see the answer. It is there. It will surely come. There is no tree that has no fruit. When you keep addressing it in Jesus' name, you are planting a tree in Jesus' name, and in its time, the fruits shall come forth. If you refuse to let go by wetting that tree, 
with the name of Jesus Christ continually. Be comfort. It will. Don't stop. And God will bless your heart for this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Sorry for picking the medicine late. I I almost, if not my mother woke me up, I almost let off. Sorry for the meeting began a little bit late. God will honor you and honor our prayers in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hey, big amen. 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 Let's take our family song together. I'm so glad I'm a part of this family, family of God. Strong as they be, wise as Solomon, joint here with Jesus. Oh, my band. I'm so glad with this family, family of God. Please don't forget this fact that one thing, demons and devils, sickness and diseases, whatever name the situation is called, one thing they all hate in common is that they all have names. And as long as they have names, they can't forget the Jesus name. Don't forget, that is your strength over them. That is a world they will never wanted to see. That is the singular power we all have over demons. That the fact that they have names. Remove that from our life, we are useless. That is the only singular power we have. That the fact that we know it, that they have names. And as long as they have names, they are subject to Jesus' name. And we must keep addressing them in that name. That is the only name they are all answerable to. Every spirit is answerable to Jesus' name. Every spirit, every spirit is either in the dark or in the light. Every spirit, God is the father of all spirits, either in the dark or in the light. Every spirit is answerable to Jesus' name. And that is what they don't want us to know, that they have names. But now we know. I say now we know. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. May God bless you and keep you. May God shine a face upon you and be gracious to you. Amen. May God lift up your countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen. May the fact that you know that demons have name. May the fact that you know that devils have name. May the fact that you know that every sin, sickness, and sicknesses, even sin, have name. Every sin have name. Every sin, known and unknown, have names. May the fact that you know that every situation have name. Be your comfort in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be the peace of your heart. Amen. Give you joys. Amen. Not just joy, great joy. Exceeding great joy in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. I mean, God put this name for our children. Amen. And bless them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you this comfort Amen. that demons have names. And the name of Jesus Christ is all that you need to address them. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Amen. And because it's a year of amen, what do we say? Amen is my power. Amen is my son. With a man, I go victory in prayer. Amen is my son. Whenever I say amen, in the name above all names, demon tremble and God is glorified. Amen is my stay. When you say amen, amen is Jesus' name. When you say amen, they must tremble because they know that name is above all names. Stop saying, don't stop saying it. Keep saying it. And you see the changes you desire in the mighty name of Jesus. Don't complain. Please don't complain. The time of complaint is gone. Now is the time to address those things in Jesus' name. One day you will hear that shout shouting hallelujah. One day you see that child saying, I hear something. One day you will hear, you see that eyes opening. One day that brain will be, okay, will be okay again. One day you will hear a report that will say, everything is fine now. If only you won't stop addressing them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. It is over in Jesus' name. Amen, Amen is my palm. Amen, Amen is my song. With a man, I go victory in prayer. Amen is my song. Whenever I say amen, in the name above all name, they must tremble and God is glorified. Amen is 
my stay. Amen.